It's the most wonderful time of the year, especially in the town of Santa Claus, Indiana, where thousands of letters pour in every year addressed to the big man himself. Anywhere from 29,000 to 37,000. We get them from parents, we get them from kids, and it's fun to see we get them from India, Australia, really any state and pretty much basically any country. Instead of the North Pole, Nell Hedge, executive director of the Santa Claus Museum and Village, says these letters to St. Nick have been rerouted to this tiny town in southern Indiana for decades. The legend of the town of Santa Claus is that the town finally had enough people, which was 1856, and they wanted to have a post office. But the town's name was denied, so they were forced to come up with a new one. So supposedly on Christmas Eve, the town was meeting in the church, and a little child heard bells ringing outside, and the doors flew open to the church, and they said, Santa Claus, and the town said, yes. So they named it Santa Claus. As the only post office in the world with Santa's name on it, you can see why letters to the man in red show up by the bagful here. The um, postmaster at the time, James Martin, really wanted to make sure that the letters were responded to. And then also the town of Santa Claus had a helper Santa. His name was Santa Jim. And he was very involved with the town and the community. And he also felt it was important that every letter written to Santa Claus got a response. That's when a group of volunteer elves from the town decided to start writing back. We actually do read every letter. Donations help pay for the return postage to make sure everyone gets a response. And the letters themselves talk about all kinds of things. Some are heartbreaking. We had a really sad one two years ago. I still, ugh, the little boy had written, um, his brother had drowned in the pool and his mom was pregnant and he was really excited for his next brother to be born. That was a ugh, heartbreaker for all of us. Others make you laugh. This little boy was a baseball player and he wanted a bike, but he also wanted a cup. And he even told Santa, not a cup that you drink out of, the kind that protects you when you play baseball. <laughs> I thought that one was really funny. No matter what's in the letter, this town of Santa's helpers is here year round to make sure that not a single one goes unnoticed. It's really amazing, even adults, how much they kind of pour their hearts out to Santa Claus. So it is, it's really special to be able to read those um, and respond. I mean, they're worth it. I mean, it's, everyone's important. Letters to Santa are at the top of the list.